Alright, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's just like a sort of quick update and quick video on the Disney bundle from the last video. Was, yeah, it would have been the last video, my first video, should I say. Uh, I haven't gone through it all. I've only gone through a bit. Like, I know some of them are sets and some of them are not. So, yeah, we'll just go through it from what I've gathered and uh, show you, like, the pricing and what I think I can get. And some of them are going to be bundled up so i don't know the price of that because the bundled up ones are most likely going on bids and auctions so yeah let's let's go through it right then just going through it um i don't actually don't know what, sorry about that noise it's uh my chair moving out of the way and sorry about the noise in the background uh, i noticed that it's really windy uh it's because i legit live in the middle of nowhere so there's like no houses to block out the wind it's just me on my tour i guess and that's why you hear cars going by as well because it's on a main road uh well not a main road but it's on a road in the middle of nowhere <laughs> so yeah let's uh go through uh i'm going to start off with the dory actually because that's the one that i was most hopeful for so dory from finding nemo finding dory uh, with its actual playset thing, I haven't removed the stickers yet because I haven't took uh, photos because uh, I was busy last night. Uh, so, I brand new, you're looking at £17 plus postage, you know, with its packaging, brand new. And with the Nemo pre-owned, uh, you can get £20, so I was gutted when I was missing the Nemo. But uh, because it's brand new, you can get £17 with postage, I'm going to try and aim uh, for 10 with postage for that. Because uh, the Dory itself, you can get £7 free postage. So I'm assuming I'll get 10 with postage or even go higher. But 10 is probably like the mark that I want to go for. Uh, so the second bundle that I'm going to do for these lot uh, is the Incredibles. I mentioned this in my last video where this was like the only one that I searched up. Uh, so you can probably get £14 free postage for that, so after fees it's probably like 7 quid. Uh Profit for me, well not profit because I, I haven't gone through them all yet, Uh £7 uh, probably overall, Uh but the £14 one did have the ginger character, you know the evil little kid from the uh, the movie, but I'm, I'm more than confident that I'll probably get that because it's all the figures and the rest of the listings that I've seen, uh, they're not like we don't have Dash or uh, Violet, is that it? And Elastigirl, they just have uh, Mr. Incredible and uh, the Ginger Kid. So I'm probably going to aim for that. Uh, this set here, I actually don't know if it's a full set. I'm just assuming it is because I looked at the actual cube, which I was going to bundle up just with the Monster Inc. characters. And the cube's got uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, the Incredibles and Monster Inc. So I'm assuming that that's going to be like a set of some sort. But from what I looked at uh, on comps, the Monster Inks, just, you know, those four along. God, you can't even see. Uh, that one, that one, that one, and that. It was going for 9 99 free postage. So I'm probably going to aim for £12 put with postage because it's got uh, an extra few characters with that. So you never know. Um, this, these, well, they're the same bundle there. These Star Wars characters, they don't really go for a lot. Uh, I was surprised actually because it's like a bundle itself. Uh, when I checked, it was probably like four pound with postage. Um, so it's not a lot, but it's still getting my money back in it. All right, let's go for these. I haven't checked this one yet. That's like an anomaly at the moment because. Uh, Mainly, I don't know what movie that's from. It's probably from a newer Disney movie. But uh, this one's from... I want to say Zootopia, but it's not Zootopia, is it? It's something else. Uh, it's the bunny. She's supposed to be a police officer or something. Uh, you can get £8 with postage on that one. So that's a da nice, decent find. Uh, with all these lot, these are probably the ones that I'm going to have to do more research and bundle. I'm probably most likely going to add the rays to these bundles um, just so it can like up the price a bit. I don't know yet, maybe, because I have got Luke and uh, another Anakin 
and Ahsoka, Ahsoka, Ahsoka uh, set, but I am missing that, so I could probably just bundle these and get some money out of it. Oh, and that one, because that's a Star Wars as well. Uh, in fact, with looking at this one, if you have the Sabine character, which is from Rebels as well, you can get £10 with postage. So, again, I'm missing that out, uh, unfortunately, but I have to try and make the money back and make some profits somehow. Um, so, yeah, I'm hopeful that I'll get 10 for that, 14 for that, but that's free postage. Uh, that's with postage, so I should make my money back with that, I think. Uh, or close, like £14 after fees. Something daft like that. I don't know. I'm really bad at maths. I'll have to go back. And then I'll, the rest I should be able to make some money off. Uh, again, this was just me experimenting with the bundles uh, from my last video. I'm not very good with Disney Infinity. I haven't really done them a lot. Uh, I've only done Skylanders, which I'm more familiar with. In fact, uh, on this lot in here, the box is kind of dirty. I need to clean it a bit. There's actually an auction up on my, um, what you call it, uh, store at the moment for these. Uh, there's about 25 of them. Uh, they're all the Skylander Giants, so they're not big money. Skylander Giants, to be honest, for a whole lot of that, you'll probably get like 20, 30 quid. But uh, yeah, more, more what you call it, I guess, educated in Skylanders than Disney Infinity. Because uh, growing up, I didn't really bother with Disney Infinity. Skylanders, I thought, oh, that's cool, I might try it. But then I'm pretty sure this these came out after that. It's like Disney's way of trying to get into action or compete with Activision, which is kind of cool, I guess. But yeah, I have no idea. So yeah, all this lot, I'll probably have to do research. I know that this guy's a uh, Barbosa from Pirates of the Caribbean, so, um, you, you can probably go with that bundle, maybe. Uh, this lot here, uh, is actually from my death pile, which I had for a while, uh, which is over here. I actually have the station, but I need to check the serial code, because from looking at comps, there was some selling for like £5 and some selling for £30, and every time I clicked on the £30 ones, there was, uh, what you call it, there was always them showing the serial number in the pictures and in the description. So I have to double check that to see what the, the deal is. And yeah, that's just a plan of what I'm doing with these. And hopefully I can make money back. Uh, if it's a fail, it most likely will be because they might take some time to shift. But again, this is just my channel is me documenting my fails, my wins my journey and trying to help you and trying to get help from you so yeah hope you enjoyed new funds up see you in a bit right so i was just going through uh the uh infinite bundles that i set out at first uh you know the incredibles the finding dory and the monsters inc i was just going through the fees uh i, I don't think i've actually took off the fees on the postage uh I've completely forgot about that but if I'm doing this correctly, which I might not be, because <laughs> I'm an idiot after all. Well, I keep saying that. I'm not an idiot. I'm just really bad at maths. Um, if you have a look here, uh, I'm probably expecting just from those lot, £18.75 back. So if you minus that, it's £2.25. So I'm in the profit if I get that back. And then you've got all those other figures. So I think if I'm doing these correctly. Uh, one, two... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's 10 figures gone if all these sell. Uh, and then I've got 14 left. And some of them could sell individually on their own. I still need to check that uh, that small character that I showed. Uh, the one next to the bunny. Uh, so yeah, if I check that one, I should be... Well, I'm in the profit margin, just only by £2. But... Obviously, with 14 other figures, I can probably make an extra 10, 15 pound. So it's not bad, but doing all this work, it's probably not the best for that. So it was a risk I was willing to take. So obviously, I've got the schedule listings there. Uh, it was a risk I was going to take. And if they do sell for that, then again, jobs are good.
I realise I always say uh, jobs are good at the end. Uh, it's probably like a new motto, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, just ending that sort of quick session of the Infinity Bundle. Um, it was it's just more of an experiment, really, than it would probably be most likely to fail. Well, that's if they sell. They might hold on. I might hold on to them for a while. You win some, you lose some. I am making profit from it if they do all sell. And obviously, I've got 14 characters that I need to decide what to do with. But if those three bundles that sell, uh, sorry, my screen's there, uh, I showed you before. Uh, if they do sell, I mean, profit range, it's not a lot. But uh, yeah, something in it. Um, the Monster Inc. I actually changed my uh, mind on that. Um, I just did the Monster Inc. instead because I, I realised that they might be a bundle, but uh, people are most likely just going to buy the characters alone and then I can just put all the pirates and the Caribbean together uh, as a bundle itself. Um, so yeah, might as well do that. Uh, what else? Sorry, I'm just looking at the side. Uh, from the other video as well, the uh, Cashmere. I've put them up for £30 uh, each, both of them, with £4.20 postage. So I'm hoping I can get that. But I've put offers on as well, so they can, you know, send me an offer. I'm not, I'm making enough money. So if someone sends me like a £20 offer, 25 I'll probably take it. I'm making enough money on it. On it. Um, they're actually charcoal ones, from the looks of things. Well, at least that's what I've put on the description. So I'm still looked at the tag. Uh, and the Hulk from the last video. One second. I've put it up for 27. Um, even with the scrapes, I am more than confident that I'll get something around there. Oh, in fact, I've already got two, uh, two watches on it. I've already just listed it. So, obviously, people are looking for that. Uh, I've put £4.20 postage on it as well, so that might be a bit of a, you know, a bit of steep postage cost for something like that. Um, obviously, it will go for that, uh, you know, postage-wise, that's what I need to pay, but we're asking for £27 on it uh, with the scrapes. Probably a bit too much, but again, I've put offers, I've put minimum offers for £20, they're 3 50 for it, so again, if someone offers me something... Like 20, I'm not bored. I'm making money and it's good for me. Uh, I'm actually in my bedroom right now, if you're wondering. Um, that wardrobe's not complete yet. I've got the other part downstairs. <laughs> I just wait for the rubber to help me out, uh, saw it out or bring it up. It's just really heavy to do on your own. And uh, I can't show you my bed at the moment because it's a mess. <laughs> Why would I want to show you my bed anyway? <laughs> Again, I'm stupid like that. Just my brain star wars poster probably the worst star wars movie i've watched to be honest but i just like the poster uh and yeah jobs are good now we're nothing uh thanks for watching uh for the quick update on the infinity bundle and yeah i i'll be back with another video i don't know when um depends what days i go charity shop hunting to be fair i'm working tomorrow which is thursday and i'm working saturday uh, depends Friday uh, what time I work over to be honest because yeah on Sunday I usually don't go because uh, uh, around my area the uh, normally short so yeah again thanks for watching leave a like and if you want to subscribe subscribe I should say if you want to like like and yeah thanks for watching bye